No, I did not almost forget about the Beast Morphers video because I was busy all weekend and no, it's not almost 9 o'clock on Monday. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Brittany. If you've been subscribed yet, you probably should because I talk about geeky things and normally I look a little bit more presentable on camera, but I nearly forgot about making this video and it's almost nine o'clock and I don't want to put any more makeup on my face because I'm about to wash it, my face and go to bed. So I am an old person who goes to bed at nine o'clock. So let's just, let's just get into this because I want this to go quick. So this episode of Power Rangers Beast Morphers, if you guys want to skip the total recap, you can go ahead and hit this timestamp right here and it'll just lead you to my thoughts about this episode. This is episode 14. It is called uh, Hypnosis Halloween. Hypnotic Halloween? Something like that. So just like every single season since Saban has taken back over and yes I know Hasbro owns the franchise right now but we are still in a position of Saban having some say in what's going on and his team having some say in what's going on. He is still an executive producer, so just remember this is not not Neo Saban. And just like any other Neo Saban episode, we have a Halloween episode, just like I am expecting a Christmas episode like we do every single year. And that's why I think this one's going to go kind of fast because the Halloween episodes and the Christmas episodes really don't add much to the story. They are usually just kind of like a let's have fun kind of episode and I appreciate them but I also have some issues with this one and quite frankly just my own personal issues with television in general so it's not Power Ranger specific it is definitely just my issues with television and we're going to get into that in just a minute. So this episode opens with Zoe digging through a chest and the others all dressed in Halloween costumes except for Devin. So you've got Ravi as Sherlock Holmes, you have Nate as Dr. Frankenstein, and you have Steel as Frankenstein's monster. Zoe eventually reveals herself as a female Viking. <sighs> and I will say I was slightly offended by the Viking getup because Vikings don't actually have horns, you guys. When can that finally die? My, my, my football team, I accept the fact that they have horns, but like, Vikings didn't actually have horns. Stop offending Scandinavians with the horns. Uh, I was also slightly offended by her very terrible Scandinavian accent, but that's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> I can let it go. I like Zoe, so let's just let it go. They ask where Devin is, and Devin apparently does not like Halloween or Halloween costumes because Devin has no soul. I don't understand when people don't like Halloween or like Halloween costumes. I mean, I have not worn a Halloween costume in years, but mostly because I've worked retail management and have not been able to participate in Halloween. So maybe next year because I didn't actually Halloween sneaking up on me this year. So the four of them decide to sit down and watch a Halloween movie on some strange streaming website. So they all sit down and watch this, start watching this movie and we have all of our Rangers being hypnotized into believing that they are the characters that they are dressed as. So that would mean that Nate is Dr. Frankenstein, Steel is Frankenstein's monster, Ravi is Sherlock Holmes, and Zoe is a very poorly dressed and poorly accented Viking. This is actually kind of a cute idea, I think, but we'll get into my thoughts on that in a little bit. Devin sees the very end of this hypnosis and realizes that they are hypnotized. He tries to talk to Ravi, but Ravi will only speak to a police officer because he is Sherlock Holmes. Uh, why he wouldn't talk to Watson, maybe it's because Watson wouldn't be a really like a cat costume. So Devin decides to dig into the costume chest and he happens to find a police officer costume. And so he puts that on and talks to Ravi that way. This then leads into him telling the Sherlock Holmes all these wonderful things that Ravi has done, which breaks the spell. The two of them decide to go on this mission together to try and break the spell for the others as well. Devin goes to save Zoe by dressing also as a Viking and tells him, tells this Viking all the good things about Zoe and that breaks the spell. Ravi is able to find Nate and Steel, 
who are obviously at odds. Ravi ties them up, the three of them, and Devin, Zoe, and Ravi sit down and tell them about Nate and Steel and how Nate loves his creation and his creation loves him back. And of course this breaks that spell. All of these spells are broken relatively quickly within the episode because the second half of the episode, we have to fight a monster. So while they were being distracted by all of this, a monster was sent down and they go to fight this monster. We have a small monster, big monster. We have a big monster that separates. I don't even really, I, I got dizzy during the monster fight, but we have the three original Rangers in their Zords. We have Nate and Steel on the ground. Nate and Steel defeat the monster on the ground. Then they go to help the others up in the Zords and they fight and they win. And then they all, including Devin, who now loves being in costumes and loves Halloween, decide to sit down and watch another movie. <laughs> Round two. So like I said, this episode really didn't have a lot to it. The Halloween Christmas episodes usually don't. One thing I'm gonna say, and this is really my only negative, because I didn't really dislike this episode, it was fine, because it really didn't add to the story, so there really isn't much critically to talk about. But I let... I hate clip episodes. I hate clip shows. I hate them. I have never, that's not true, Community. My favorite show, Community, has the best clip episodes. And why? It's because none of the clips have to do with any of the actual episodes. And sometimes I'm a little disappointed because I really want to see the episodes that those clip shows are about. But clip episodes, I just don't like it. It's just lazy storytelling. And you can, and generally speaking, when a regular television show does it, it's mostly because they've run out of money and they need another episode. So they just kind of throw this together so that they can make 30 minutes with commercials out of an episode. I don't think that that's what these are. I don't think what this episode was, was that. I think that this was quite literally just, it was just supposed to be a fun, kooky Halloween episode, but I hate clip episodes. I just, I don't, in all of television, I find them to be just annoying and I don't like them. Lazy storytelling, but again, it's not like a Power Ranger thing. It is quite literally just an all over television thing because every freaking television show seems to think it's a good idea. But all in all, I thought this episode was actually really cute. Um, I thought that obviously it moved very quickly, but kind of had to because we still needed to do the battling. We couldn't just do a full episode of just the Rangers all kind of fighting each other. We had to put some kind of like morph and zord fight in there and it makes sense there really was no enemies really other than the monsters and the name of the lackey that i can never seem to remember ever i'm tired it's been a long day and i'm working 45 hours next week anyway that's not your problem i'm a little delirious this is what you get when you get me after work anyway but yeah so i mean i thought this episode was cute it didn't really add anything to the story so there really is not much to talk about um, but yeah, so that's all I've got for you guys this week. Um, so on to episode 15 next week. I look forward to it. I'm really hoping that Beast Morpher starts picking up. Now that we're past the Halloween episode, we're going to start adding new story to the story. And I will see you guys all on Thursday if you like watching all of my content. Or next Monday if you like watching my Power Ranger content. I'll see you guys all eventually. Bye. <laughs> I am terrible at making videos. That's just... That's just the... Hard to, I'm sorry, did I nearly step on you? That's why you don't lay down underneath me when I'm making a video. Okay. <laughs> you just have to play with that toy. The toy that could knock over my light.